Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So now that we've pillared it up, we can kind of go back on our way to take potentially some other routes to higher lands. Which, which way I need to go though, I'm kind of unsure now at this point. Because <laughs> it's been a little while since I've played this dungeon, so... Just give me a little bit to figure this out, I suppose, but I do believe you want to go back through one of these pathways somewhere. So I'm just going to go back through here, and I do believe it's one of these doors this way. I don't I don't remember if it was the green one or if it was the yellow one. I'm just going to try the yellow one because it kind of zoops around. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't zoop around. It's, it is actually the green one that zoops around. And the end of the first day is coming. That is okay with me. Oh, uh, wait, can I recover more magic as long as I'm in here? Yes, I can. These pots are pretty generous for refills, <laughs> even arrows. Uh, let's just go on across here. Don't mind the moon. We've got many more hours to go. Oh, shoot! Well, well, I guess I can show this now as long as I'm down here, because why not? This is the place that I thought had the ferry before, but didn't actually have the ferry. Yeah, it's got a... it's a Deku place, basically. And I don't really have to do this unless I fall, but... <laughs> but there you go. Yeah, the yellow ones clearly make you fly higher than any others. And... Whee! That's how they were able to get you up the clock tower earlier on in the game. But it was never very clear that it would be that way. <laughs> okay. Um, that middle one there had the reset. I mean, not reset switch, but it contained that. The switch to flip things. I mean, to, pu to push the middle pillar out. Um. Let's see here. I just want to take a peek, see around, see what I might be missing here. Uh. I wanted to go through the blue door instead. That might have been the correct route. So here's what I'll do. I'll just go like that. Because <laughs> I just ended up at a dead end there, so I might as well try something different. And we're just going to go up and around through here. Ah, yeah, this is correct. Because I do believe now, since we opened up this pathway, we have created power to go up this way. Oh, we didn't... It, it actually reset itself? Well, that's not nice. <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's back up there. And... Oh, shoot! That's... That's spiky. Yeah, that's very spiky. And here comes a bomb shoe. Uh, I said, here comes a bomb shoe. <laughs> don't, don't make me a liar, man. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, hold on. I f almost forgot something. I do believe there's a fairy in one of these boxes, if I recall correctly. So let's just roll into these and bash my head in. No, no, it's okay. I, mean, I, I, I could have swore there was one in there though. <laughs> All right, going up. Any day now, or do I have to shoot the eye again? You don't have to be accurate with the fire arrows. I think it's got that got that range. Okay, I guess I had to shoot it again. I think there was also something. Yeah, um, we need the power of the looking glass lens of truth. And yeah, I didn't I didn't get this when I was in here before because it didn't come to mind, but it, I, that chest on there reminded me of it. What you do is you yeah, you turn on this on, you got these little tiny jumps. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, okay, careful. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, and this is a fairy, if I recall correctly. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's number ten. I'm gonna try and jump on here so I don't have to do that eye again. All right, I think we're good here now. There's also a fairy in the wall somewhere in this room, if I recall correctly. Like, I think I have to turn that on. And I have to look around for a fairy hanging out on one of these side walls. It's a really obscure location. Uh, well, it's it's not here, but it, it's somewhere. I know it is. I just forgot where it is. Anyway, now that I have the fire arrows, if you did ever, if you never seen here before, when I was bashing my face into this as a Goron, 
Yup, that's a stairway. See, before when I when I crossed through here, I was I jumped across here the, for the first time, and then I, I used this as my backing point, I mean my stopping point, and then I went around here, you know, that slope there as a Goron, and then I went back across to the other side, but now that the pillar is there, it's all blocked over. But since you have ways back and around, that's how you navigate this dungeon and are able to get yourself over to higher locations. Now, you'll notice over here, we only have access to one punching point here. Yeah, that's kind of a problem, isn't it? So we gotta kind of go around there and take a look at this. There are no guardrails here. May Arceus have mercy on your soul, and mine too, because... I'm doing this. Oh, don't fall! Okay. <laughs> See, if you bounce off the sidewall, you're most likely gonna fall, and you're gonna have to climb all the way back up to here, and it sucks. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Alright, so I got that. That's set up for the future, and now I'm gonna go through this door, and I think it's actually going to be another wizard robe fight, if I recall correctly. Um, oh no it's not, well whatever. Uh, there's a fairy up there, see that, yep. Yeah. Right in the wall, you can use the power of your fairy mask, I use that to just turn off my uh, lens of truth right away, and I got 11 now. <laughs> I'm trying to trigger those two. Oh, here's a new enemy here. It's an Eno, and it's persistent. It's susceptible to heat. You can't attack it, though. <laughs> it's just fine if you attack it normally. Yeah, you, you can do it like that, but the easier way would be to do this and just one-shot it. Yeah, because when you split it up like that, it kind of kind of makes things a little bit harder on yourself. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you its splittiness. Uh, you know, I should be wearing this mask more often, actually, come to think of it. But, well, well, I'm not, I guess. <laughs> I'll use it to re-examine the rooms if I miss a stray fairy, but I do think I'm pretty close to being on track so far, so I'm not too worried about any sort of messages here. Because I've got them all pretty well memorized, except for that one in that main min main big pillar room. Oh, hello there. How's it going? Yeah, we got... We got, uh, remember these guys? The, the, uh, Dynlophos? Well, as a Goron, we're immune to their fire. Yeah. But we're gonna ha kind of have trouble dealing with their, yeah. <laughs> but they're much swifter movements in a way. Uh, there's a fairy in one of them. Oh, why did I guard that? I don't have to guard that. I'm immune to fire. Ah, ah I don't even need to... I just should have just went and did the whole super aggressive tank every hit method because they're just going to get hearts back anyway on this extremely easy dungeon. So that's three fairy number 13. There's two more. And I know where one is. It's just the thing of that I'm not sure where the other one is. I just want to take a look-see here. Uh, from all the way up here to see where I can potentially shoot where that fairy is because you see I'm, I'm, I made this platform here For the future you don't need to be up that high because you see it's all blocked over But you do need to be that high and yeah It's just a thing of I'm, I'm just looking for a certain alcove in a wall I don't remember if I need to have the lens of truth on or not though Which it may or may not be a pretty important thing to look into um <laughs> um, I just don't want to fall if I don't need to fall, because I want to be able to shoot that and then, you know, just kind of, kind of let it come to me with my fairy mask. But yeah, this is why the platform needs to be lower, because if it was any higher, it would be blocking this pathway here. But, but, I'm still looking for said fairy. Um, looking for said fairy. Where is that sucker? Ah, uh, it's such an obscure location. <laughs> oh, there it is! 
right down there. It's in. Oh, I can't actually get. I can't shoot a fairy in a bubble because it's. Yeah, you see how it's. It's in a treasure chest. Ah. Well, I might have to get that using a Deku flower, but oh wait, that's right. I need still need this to be on. Now watch this. You can get this first one pretty easy now. Now just let's just imagine we're gonna try and punch this in the center of sorts. Hey, we, we managed to do that just fine, but what if you're off on the left side? Can't punch it! Oh, no you can't punch it! <laughs> because of the weird hit hit thing, hit detection of the Goron punch. Yeah. Yeah, polish. This game needs it. Okay, now obviously I can't reach the boss door over there, and why did I put that on? I don't know. Because <laughs> I found the spot that I was looking for, but I do need to cross that. Okay, now for that Deku area, where is that Deku area again? Because it's, it's so obscure, it's hard to find consistently. Because <laughs> I seen it from that platform there, didn't I? Uh, I'm trying to look for something that's different. Was it that down way over there? It looks maybe about right. Okay, so it's at... So it's about where that... Yeah, about where that curved slope is. That makes sense. Okay, so I think what I gotta do, and this'll take forever, is turn into a Deku, flip-flop out of one of these, and then take the long, long way down. Because you see, you gradually drift downwards. I could be wrong about this, though, but I do believe you gotta have this going here, and you gotta be gradually drifting downwards because you don't run out of flower based on how far you fall down per se it's it's about how fa it's about how far away from the flower you are from i guess you could say the access that's uh, where the flower is it's not not really about vertical distance it's more about horizontal and any oh maybe it is more about uh, or maybe it is a little bit about vertical too Hmm, because he, he does seem to be sputtering out, but... Hmm, maybe I should rethink this. <laughs> okay, can I get to that from over here? I think I might be able to, just like by regular jumping. <laughs> yes, I was correct. So that's how you get to it. It wasn't the Deku flower. Okay, there's number 14. Thank Garcias, I remember how to do that really quick. <laughs> now this one is unfortunate. We've kind of got to go back up and around. So I'll see you back... Well, actually, maybe I don't have to cut, because this is just going to... Yeah, it's just going to plop me back up over here. <laughs> so that's handy. Okay, so that's why I wanted to get that fairy before I went up to the top, because it's just going to waste time for me to have to go back down to the bottom and then come back up anyway so yeah all right prepare for the ultimate jump once again <laughs> I still don't have the key but I do need to be able to get over to oh I didn't have to switch masks like that I could have just switched masks from the inventory what I'm trying to do here now is get down over to this section and now I do believe there's going to be another Wizro battle coming up here. This is like the way out. It's just sort of like a convenient pathway back and whatnot. Uh, yep, Wizro number two. Do you remember the strategy? I sure do. It's unforgettable. So take off that mask and switch to your regular arrows. There we go. Go in a corner. Preferably a corner where there aren't any of those teleportation pads. And there we go. That was an ice attack, by the way, I do believe. Yeah. Alright, let's see where he pops out from now. There he is. Oh, I was a little early there. Oh, that's right. You gotta wait for him on this one a little bit longer to make sure that he's actually coming. <laughs> oh, I heard him over here. I'm wearing headphones. I should say earbuds. 
stereo sound helps with this. <laughs> Alright, now he's gonna be doing his multi image software. And we repeat. We look for the solid one. And we he probably won't be able to get another attack off again now. <laughs> you can't you can't fool me when I can see them all at once, or at least in a decent speed of being able to see them before he can fire. That's the best way to put it, I guess. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, oh yeah, other stuff in here include refillables. Like, say, uh, yeah, magic and arrows and stuff like that, so... You don't have to worry about really running out <laughs> in that strategy. Especially if you're not shoot shooting arrows like a madman or something like that. Anyway, boss key! Yeah! Woo! Oh, wait a second. I forgot one fairy somewhere, didn't I? Ooh, that could be a problem. Well, well, um, let's just take a look see over here because maybe I missed it on one of the higher levels. So let's just go hop down over here. If you're holding forward as you're uh, falling off a high platform, you'll actually roll and negate the damage, but it doesn't work all the time. Uh, depends on how high you're up. Hmm... So I need one more fairy. I'm gonna have to take a look around here and I'll do a cut. Because what I'm gonna do here is, uh... Do the power of the Great Fairy Mask. And see here... Like, see, there's no sparkle in the hair, so that means there's no... No fairy in the area. So I'm just gonna go do this in all the rooms again. It won't take me too long to do it off camera. I hope. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll be able to see relatively quickly which one I missed one in a room in. So why am I? Why did I go that way? That was dumb. This room, huh? Where did I miss one in this room? Maybe it was something that was hidden by a uh, invisible wall or something like that. Well, let's see. And yeah, this is way back near the beginning, by the way. So I, I have to traverse all that upward stuff again. But I guess I can live with that, because it's my fault for missing one. I should have put this on in every room to make sure that I wouldn't miss one. Um, but the question, though, is where am I missing one? <laughs> Was it, like, up on some... Oops. Oh, that's... Was it this crate? I don't remember. It might have been that crate come to think of it, because that's a really awkward looking crate to get to. I think I can shoot that with a fire arrow. Well, I can shoot it, but it didn't do a squat. Um, let's see if I can puzzle my way across this in a way. Okay, without having to deal with the wolves. Again. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, I can get up to that other pillar, but how does that help me? I don't think this will help me, but we'll see. <laughs> oh wait, I remember! It does help me! What I do is I go in to my Goron form, and then I smash the crate from above. Wahaha! <laughs> Victory is mine! And now I gotta go upstairs. I'm so sorry I forgot this one earlier. <laughs> hopefully you're not watching, I should say hopefully you're not following in order, but... Well, the thing about it is you probably shouldn't be... I, sh I, I should say you shouldn't be following part to part until I reach, like, checkpoints. Because, well, this is Majora's Mask and you don't want to leave your game paused or whatever until the next time I make a video. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so now that I got that, I'm gonna puzzle my way back up to the top. Somehow, I forgot how to do it already. But that is okay, because I'll figure it out eventually. <laughs> You've seen the video already. Oh, just, just, just in case. Did I forget any chests in any of the rooms? No, I did not. Okay. Just wanted to be sure, because I did I just didn't want to have to do this again. <laughs> Alright. Here we go, it's boss time. Woo! And you wanna be at full magic, by the way. 
And so I was kind of breaking stuff apart. So yeah, this is just... It's frozen. Yeah, it's kind of blocked in here. Don't, don't break these pots. Just saying, don't break those pots. You're gonna need them. Because the thing frozen just happens to be the boss. And its name is Goat, which is, well, a goat. <laughs> well, it's mechanical, I suppose. Uh, and the objective of this, well, you can do it with the Goron mask, is what they intended. You can also shoot it with arrows, which I'm, I might resort to as my alternate method. But I'm going to show you the Goron method first, because it's by far the most fun method of the two. That was a cheap shot, you sucker. Uh, let's just follow him around here, and you can use jumps and stuff like that. That it's all good times. You just want to ram into him. That's why I said not to break those pots, because you're gonna need the magic to keep ramming into him repeatedly like this. And you also gotta be watching for the stuff falling from the ceiling, the stuff he flings at you, the lightning bolts, etc., etc. So a lot of people, what they like to do is they like to just shoot arrows at him from the door which works perfectly well, and you can do it easily without taking any sort of damage whatsoever. Well, mostly easily. But it's not nearly as fun as this method, and it's a lot more time-consuming. So let's just shred this guy like no one's ever shredded this guy before. Yeah, I'm getting off track here. That's okay. That's all right. I'm avoiding the pots, but I don't need to fill up. Well, I got bumped into that one, but whatever. They just, they do kind of seem to refill. <laughs> like, I, I don't know if it's just me, but it seems like they respawn as you're going around in circles here, so... Maybe it doesn't matter if you break those pots early on, but, yeah. There we go. Attack, 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 attack! <laughs> oh, I'm facing the wrong direction. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Alright. Going for... Charging up. Oh shoot, I hate when those spires fall from the ceiling. Because they create like walls of sorts. And it's just going to cause you all sorts of ire. Because you bounce off of them. And or if they fall on you, they'll hurt you. Attack! Attack! Eh, eh, eh. By the way, um... I never did do the tattle thing, did I? Hurry, chase after it, even if it means throwing your own body into it! Do it so it'll stop! And yeah, you're supposed to just keep it... Uh, keep attacking its head then after it stops like I did, but I did it I did it with the power of the Goron rather than with my sword. Uh, I think you can do that if I recall correctly. Anyway. It's starting to smoke! Yes! It's going down, it's sparkling, it's malfunctioning. It's getting faster though too, so it's kind of an issue. Ooh, oh! Don't you dare hit me with that. I'm in a good rolling position here. Get- Ah, I win! <laughs> really fun boss, actually. Woo! But it does have its annoyances, like if it just keeps knocking you back with its electricity and its uh, spires and stuff like that that just seem to come out of nowhere and whatnot. It's just a, it's just a thing of that you don't want to put yourself in a position that'll happen because it's hard to get your momentum back as Spiky Goron. Anyway... Let's grab our heart container and call it a dungeon. Ah, Goats remains. You have just freed the innocent spirit that's thirst mass. Uh, uh, still grammatically confusing. <laughs> Yay! Another dungeon bites the dust. And we've got another sorrowful song combined with an incredibly dizzy airing. Uh, what exactly are all that for you? <laughs> yeah, we'll probably find out later. All I know is we are going to get more words of wisdom, I, I guess you can say. Guardians. That's what they are, they're guardians. So... So, you're protective gods. That's why you're in the temples? But why are they protective... gods? Eh... They are... No, wait! Are you listening to me? Hey! Wait! They are, um, uh, not 
super talkative. <laughs> All right. And now... It's... It's getting warmer. The cold. It's thawing. Yes! Yes! I can't believe it. It's beautiful. It's over. The cold snap is over. Gone with the ice age. Hello, spring. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Dungeon completed. Kind of. I still gotta go plop those fairies back over at the, uh, the pond, which inconveniently... Oh yeah, there's another frog for you to write down. Which inconveniently, they decide, eh, yeah, let's put, let's put PK Gam all the way over, over, over to here. Because, you know, that, you know, you got a full inventory of fairies, so why not just put PK Gam as far away as Snowhead as you could possibly do, because... <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Alright, so let's pop on back over here, and uh, look at that Goron! He survived! We, do you have something to say now? What in the world have I been doing this whole time? Why am I sitting in a place like this? Tell it to Darmani. <laughs> Darmani, what in the world have I been doing this whole time? I can't remember a thing since I went out to look around Snowhead to figure out why Spring, <clears throat> why Spring wasn't coming. What am I doing sitting in a place like this? Well, well, it, it's a long story, let's just put it that way. Anyway, let's just kind of get ourselves across this bridge and head over to the Fairy Fountain, if you recall, is just around the corner. On the, oh, this is kind of funny now. There's just regular old Wolfus now, <laughs> instead of the White Wolfus. Because the snow has cleared. Yup. You just defeat them just like the regular white wolf us. In fact, those are the regular version normally. Come to think of it. You know, like the first one that you would normally encounter uh, in Ocarina of Time. And so that's the first kind of wolf us that you would encounter ever. <laughs> oh, jeez. I was distracting myself. I forgot that was coming. I wasn't prepared for it. Oh, wise young one, I am the great fairy of wisdom. Thank you for turning my broken and shattered body to normal. As thanks, I shall enhance your magic power. Ooh, magic increase, and by increase, I mean we have doubled our magic meter. Yeah, baby. Woo, very worthy upgrade. Yeah, especially for boss number four. <laughs> Your magic power has been enhanced, you have twice as much! I just said that, weren't you listening to me, game? Come see me whenever you are overcome by weariness. Alright, crazy witchy woman. Well, crazy fairy woman, but whatever. <laughs> let's, just, let's just get out of here and... Maybe, maybe just for kicks I'll defeat a white wolf as few. Just, just for kicks, because why not, I suppose. Oh, wait, where, where's that... Where's that platform that I was... Yeah, where would the wolf was popped? There you are. Yeah, you were right in front of that platform before. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little hasty. You can't attack it between its strikes if you're really quick. But... Ah. Look at that camera swinging around as I'm... As it's, as it's just looming around me. And... All right, I'm happy now. I've killed one. <laughs> All right, let's go back over to the um, owl statue near the entrance, I suppose. And then I suppose I'll do another soft save. Sound good? I think it is. Because I'm, I've been dungeoning for a while and I'm pretty tired. <laughs> but yeah, didn't I say that we would have plenty of time to do this dungeon? In the time left we had on that day cycle, oh yeah, because I have most of it memorized, but it would be a lot harder if I didn't. <laughs> so with that, I'm ending off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part. Mm, unfortunately, I have to say next.